Each sentence starts with a what? Capital letter. Capital letter. Capital letter. Um, the tablets are a huge asset to learning in this classroom um, and have really, really helped my students understand, um, you know, basically the format of how to set things up, which we don't get to teach as much when it's just paper pencil. Um, so it's definitely extended um, our lessons and, you know, made them feel more comfortable with technology. So I hope they don't go away. I think it definitely benefits our students. It's definitely improved teaching and motivation for the children. One. How many spaces after each word? One. 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 How many spaces after each period? Period. Two. Two. Okay. Be really careful. Way more resources to use. Um, the kids, like I said, we get to use them during seat work time. So while I'm teaching guided reading, they can then pick them up and then work on some remediation skills, um, some extension activities. So it's not only you know brought in those types of aspects, but enriched their learning. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be inserting a table. This table is going to help us make a big area so that we can fill in our four square. It makes it fun to teach because I'm not limited to a sheet of paper print out. I am I can open up the doors and have fun going on. Games that are actually useful and sometimes more productive than a worksheet. What I just tell my kids is this is stuff you're going to use for the rest of your life. <laughs> like, I can't tell you how many times I've made charts and tables and papers on the computer, so I told them they're already way advanced than I am. But the one area I didn't have to help them with was the internet. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but so they, when we go onto internet sites, we use it for our uh, bookworm. When I'm back there with my reading groups, they have a station out here where they can get on certain sites to practice things and I don't have to help them at all with that. They know to type it into the beginning and if they can't type it into the address, then they go to Google and they type it in there. Um, the device is portable, it can be carried throughout the school to all the teachers um, and it was handy for a student to be able to you know, just carry his tablet around. Um, one of the goals that we have is the students won't be carrying textbooks but they'll be accessing their textbooks through the tablet when they go to a class. Um, and you know, this way they can spare the child walking around the school carrying heavy books.